What's up everybody? I'm Alfonso with Project Unbox here. My name is Brian and we're here to bring you our first video in our Amazon series reviews. This is a Blackhead vacuum cleaner and we're going to try it out for you guys, see if it works good and if you should buy it or not. Get rid of that. <laughs> All right, so when you first open the box up, what you're gonna find is this card, which is pretty much the brand to you go, which is the one that made this one. It has their contact information on it, kind of like a business card. And a thank you for the purchase. It also comes with a one year warranty mentioned on the back. So if you guys have any problem with this product, you could probably uh, get your money back. It also comes with instructions here and uh, these little foam pads and another ring, which we believe is for... Uh, I think those are for cleaning the, the different vacuum heads. Yeah. And there's four different vacuum heads that come separate from the vacuum. These all have different purposes that you can uh, try out for yourself, see which one works best for you. The main one that comes with the vacuum, this is the biggest one. It has the most suction power. This one is called the, I think it's like a large head vacuum or something. Large head beauty head or something like that but uh yeah that one is the main one that you want to use if you have uh, a lot of blackheads and oily skin i believe this one that comes with the silicone that one's best for soft sensitive skin and then you have the other smaller round head and that one has less suction so that one is for cleaner more uh, taking care of the skin and then you have this curved one. This one's pretty interesting because that one's for getting into the grooves of your nose and stuff like that. And finally, the last one is an oval head. This one is to tighten the skin or something like that. So it's up to you which one you wanna use, but we're gonna demonstrate this one. We're gonna demonstrate the large head and possibly another one of the oval or round heads. So another thing in this bag is a little ring there. I don't know if you can see it, it's a clear ring. And what this ring is for is when you take off the heads for this vacuum, there's little ring rings there. And just in case you lose one of these rings or if one of them falls off, you have a replacement ring for it. Now this body comes with about two and a half hours of runtime with a two hour charging period. I don't think you'll ever have to use it for two and a half hours, so that shouldn't be a problem. This is what the body looks like. Around it comes with a cover over the screen here at the bottom. It's not too big. This is what it looks like in my hands. I have relatively big hands. <laughs> All right, so we figured out how to turn it on. You have to hold it down. You have to hold it down. Oh, wait. Hold on. You have to hold it down. Is it dead? Let me see. Is it back now? No, I don't think so. I think Two thousand years later. To turn it on, you can't just click it. As you see, if you click it there, nothing happens. But if you hold it for about four seconds, it'll turn on. I don't know if you can hear it. And then uh, when you run out of charge time, it comes with a USB, micro USB, to charge the black head vacuum. Goes in right there. And it does not come with a power brick, so you will have to have your own power brick, but it does come with a cord. So we're gonna show you guys the display that it comes with here. So I'm gonna hold it for like four seconds. Wait for it to turn on. In the top left corner of the screen, you can tell that it says L there. And L there stands for low. If you hit the mode button right under the power button, it's gonna go to medium. And if you hit mode again, it'll go to high. And these are the three different power settings for the vacuum. If you click the power button once, Oily in the bottom left corner will change to neutral. If you click it again, neutral to, will go to dry. So it has low, medium, and high for the vacuum power. And it has oily, neutral, and dry for the different skin types you can use with the vacuum. So if you want the machine to stop sucking while it's on, click the power button until it says hot in the top left corner right there and it'll stop sucking but the machine will stay running all right well alf was explaining the vacuum the main body of the vacuum i was looking at the instructions because we've actually never used one of these so this is going to be our first time trying one of these and we'll see how it works but uh some of the tips say that you shouldn't use it more than twice a week if your skin's not very oily and if it you have dry skin you should definitely use it once a week 
So those are some tips to be look, be on the lookout for to make sure you don't hurt your skin while you use one of these. To you go actually recommends that you open up your pores with steam or like a hot shower before using it. Obviously neither of us are out of a hot shower right now. So I just went over off camera and I steamed my nose a little bit to try to open up my pores. Brian yeah, did I didn't not. do that. So we'll see which one works better. So we'll see the differences of when you open up your pores before and when you don't. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the nose head, which is meant for hard to reach areas such as creases in the nose. And I'm gonna set my setting on oily because my nose is particularly oily. I'm gonna go ahead and start off using the low speed on the left side of my nose. Oh, that's not doing anything. <laughs> I didn't even know it was on. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. Oh, move it around. I'm trying to, wow. Okay. Wait, is it even working? That, definitely, no, you can feel it. <laughs> wow. Wow. Oh, oh my god, wow. Wait, what is that? You can actually see some already. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> you yeah, can you actually show, show the camera, but that you is can gross. actually Oh my god. I don't know if you guys can see that in there, but you can see like the gunk <laughs> in my skin. I didn't exfoliate today. I left my skin dirty on purpose for the quality of the video, but I will say on low, you can definitely feel the suction power. We're gonna switch it to high. Uh -oh. We're gonna switch it to high now, and I'm gonna do the right side of my nose. Oh, oh my God, I can't believe it. Oh my God. <laughs> Whoa. Oh my god. That's crazy. Like, oh. So I'm gonna move it to hot here so it stops sucking and I'll show you the gunk here. So this is after using low and high on my nose. As you can see, it actually did pick up a lot of dirt and oil off my nose, which is really surprising. I did not think that it was actually going to pick up that much stuff but as you can see it did get a relatively good amount of gunk all right so i'm gonna use a different head because it actually recommends to use different head if you're using it for multiple people so the one i'm gonna try out is the main one that it comes with it's the biggest round hole head that uh it has so let's see how this one works this one apparently has the biggest suction out of all of them uh, I'm gonna try one side, it's gonna be low power, and then the right side is gonna be high power. So we'll see which one works better. And the level that I'm gonna use is a neutral instead of oily skin. So let's see how the high level works first. Oh, I can't even move it. It hurts. That's what I'm saying. It keeps coming off though, is that normal? Oh, is it getting anything? Barely. Oh my god. Oh. So you need to have your skin and your pores opened up. Mm. Yeah, yeah, that what? might be it. That might be it. That's not really getting much out, but it Remember, is. Remember, he didn't he did not steam his skin before he used it, so. Oh, this is like 30 seconds. What do you mean? My hey, it got stuff out of my nose. Yeah, it's not really working though. Go to high and see if that happens. It is on high. <laughs> oh, I think it did low. No, it is. It's on high, but uh, let's see. I'm gonna try changing the mode, see if that does anything else. All right, so I switched it to high on oil. I wanna see if that makes any difference because it really didn't get much out. Let's try that. Look at the other side of your nose. Oh, oh yeah, that one hurt. That one's pulling a lot more. <laughs> yeah, you should be using the mirror. <laughs> well, I don't even know, but uh, I don't know oh. if that's safe. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. That is hurting, but uh. <laughs> it's not too bad. <laughs> it looks like you see that line? Bad. Yes. Yeah, no, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna try low instead because I don't think you should really use high with the big head. That's pretty strong. Yes, it. Oh, yeah. It's starting to work a lot more. It seems like it's getting a lot of dead skin off rather than... Yeah, I did head. notice on when I used it on my nose, it got some of the dead skin off my nose along with other stuff. Oh, yeah. 
smoke like Rudolph for a while. <laughs> it does say redness is supposed to show up. It's gonna make your whole face red. It's like bruised their ears. <laughs> <laughs> like it's like you got punched. Bro, I got punched by this thing. So uh the high setting really didn't work. I don't think it worked for me. But uh maybe because I didn't loosen the pores, as Alf would say, with his 30 seconds of steam. But yeah. This is the big head and it kind of did get a little bit of the chunk off, but not a lot. I think it's mostly dead skin. I probably would have got better results if I did loosen my pores, but uh, instead I got a really red nose. But I think it, do you think it works? I think it worked pretty good. It worked pretty good on my, on my nose, as you can tell. Now I actually did, I do have an oily nose though, and I actually did, um, loosen my pores up before this and it got a lot of stuff as you can tell now i believe that it worked pretty nice for me brian he also could just have cleaner skin i didn't wash my face this morning to prepare for this so that could be a reason why his didn't show up as much but yeah. i guess it just depends on your skin type and i definitely would say to be careful when you use the big round head because it is pretty strong especially when you use it with high power and then oily I think when you put it on oily, it keeps the suction con continuous, but when you put it on dry, it like goes off and on, it's weird, but uh, yeah. All right, so that pretty much wraps it up for our unboxing and review of the 2Ugo um, Blackhead Remover Vacuum. In my honest opinion, I think it worked pretty good for my skin type and for the settings that I had it on. As you can see, it did pull out a lot of dead skin and gunk out of my skin, so I would definitely recommend buying it. I think this one, what? Cost us $25. Yeah, it's about uh, $25 and then like 20 cents with tax or whatever. Yeah. It's not very expensive. So this one cost us about $25 to $27 on Amazon. Yeah, we'll put a link in the description yeah. if you want to try it out. If you're interested in getting one just like the one we have here, we'll put a link down in the description for it and you can go pick it up from there. Alf really liked it, but I didn't. It kind of abused me. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, I probably didn't use it right too. It's my first time using this for both of us. So yeah, you can see what how it works for you but i would i would recommend to be careful with it if you are gonna get it loosen up loosen yeah, up loosen your pores before you use it yeah because that pores. definitely allows for more of the yeah, yeah. um junk in your skin to get extracted by it as you can see his 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 nose is a lot less red than mine so if you guys like what you saw here don't forget to like the video and if you want to see more content of us reviewing products make sure to subscribe and if you also have any recommendations for products that we should review or any things that we could do to help our videos out, make sure to leave it in the comments below.